All right, hello everyone. We are here at Mulligan's Indoor Golf in Plymouth. And the question everybody is asking is, how does the modern equipment, like the TaylorMade Stealth 2 driver, compare to the new $199 Kirkland Signature Costco driver? Let's find out. All right, we will start with the Stealth 2 driver. Same shaft, we're dealing with the even flow. So same, same shaft in both of the clubs. Let's take some swings and see what happens. Wow. All right, so let's hit three. <laughs> That's just a <laughs> That's amazing. Right. That's my commentary. That's amazing. No, I'm just kidding. I know. We're going to go over the numbers. Look at that side spin though, Katie, real quick. Look at your side spin. Four. What was it? Four with the driver. That's absurd. <laughs> Tonight? Alright, let's get the average 100 mile an hour swing speed inconsistent guy. Let's see what happens. Versus you guys that carry 330. I don't carry 330. <laughs> Unreal. All right. So talk talk us through some numbers here, then we'll switch over to the Kirkland again. That was the Stealth Two, same shaft, even flow, stiff. What's up? Okay. All right. So now we're going to switch over to the. Kirkman signature, 10 and a half degree, same loft, same, same shaft. Some weight and flex. And let's see what happens. That's the ball's picking up. Fascinating to see, truly. Um, first time I've even seen this driver in person, um, let alone seen it hit, heard it. Sounds good. Can you feel good? It actually feels really good. Yeah, I was, uh, I'm impressed with the numbers, truly. Let's take a peek at the difference between the two. As you can see, $250, $300 driver that is? $199. $199 that driver can compete with the big dogs. How, so, much, how much is this one? We're looking at $600. Okay. On the dot for that. So. Couple of fascinating things here. I kind of expected to see this from a fitting perspective, which is really interesting to see. So, ball speed difference. That shocks me. The Kirkland providing more ball speed um, than the than the Stealth 2. Obviously, we got a pretty small sample size, but they're on every single strike, um, even on the ones Kevin didn't hit perfectly in the center, we were still getting more ball speed than the ones we centered with the Stealth 2. Carry number total, almost identical. Literally a less than a yard between the two of them. You can see the side total that Stealth 2 is flying a little bit straighter. I kind of anticipated that just with Twist Face technology um, and that advantages that they have in their face technology in years and years of developing drivers. But what is crazy to see is the spin number is the same and to see that it can hang with all the big dogs. Ball speed wise, like I said, producing more. Um, that is, this is a great example. We'll pull this chart here for you, the groupings here, give you an idea. That right there is a great example of why twist face, twist face technology is a beautiful thing. But at the same time, it's really cool to see that a, a driver that's literally less than half of the price can hang out there with distance wise 
and ball speed. So. And Hunter, what do you see about the face? Like, talk, talk to us about the differences in the faces. Yes, truly. So, just from my knowledge of clubs in general, obviously, we got a carbon fiber face here. Twist Face Technology is infamous for their ability to uh, toe and heel strikes to straighten those out and still retain ball speed. The difference we see in a, kind of a Kirkland face, not super fluent in their technology, but I know right now, off the top of my head, that's a titanium face. Um, titanium faces are really stable across the face, but they don't tend to have a lot of technology in regards to straightening that golf shot out. We tend to get a lot more gearing effect or side spin from a titanium face that doesn't have obviously that twist face technology or that curvature. Can you tell from the Kirkland where I hit it on the face just with the marks on here? Yeah, Those absolutely. Those are the only shots that so have been hit. This makes sense why spin and was up a little bit and ball speed was down a little bit. The Kirkland was a little bit high toe, which uh, if you guys are familiar with driver strikes, obviously center is ideal, but if we're gonna miss anywhere on that driver, high toe is textbook. High toe is textbook with the tailor made that strike we had one that was a little healy, one that was centered, and one that was just a tiny bit toed. Most of those were really well struck. That heel strike is gonna be a lot more punishing than the one off that, that toe. So that's probably why I saw a little bit more ball speed out of that Kirkland. But honestly, it's super cool to see that thing hanging with the big dogs. And then what does this, what do these? So essentially, when I was, when I was getting at, um, and this is a great example of it, is if we look at the difference here, when I talk about twist face versus titanium face, that carbon fiber, 60 layers, um, twist face, that side spin number is what stands out to me the most. Um, you'll see back spin is very similar, but that side spin is almost twice as high. That's that gearing effect that we talk about. Uh, when we get a little bit of that toe strike, in general, it's going to cause more side spin, but uh, with twist face, we can tend to offset for that side spin with a, a face that doesn't have as much, uh, uh, excuse me, a club head that does not have as much face technology um, behind it we're gonna see a little bit more of that gearing effect or side spin from toe and heel strikes. So um, there is obviously huge advantages to playing the best drivers in the market, the fanciest drivers in the market. But like I said, super cool to see that a $200 driver can get out there distance wise with it, ball speed wise. And I'm confident that if we got Kevin dialed in with that Kirkland, he's just hitting it right off the rack, right out of the wrapper. If we got him dialed in with that Kirkland, I bet you we could get those side spin numbers down and probably compete with a lot of the best stuff out there. All right, thank you, Hunter. Go Low Golf. Of course. Thank you, Unicor, for the amazing launch monitors. So, and thank you, Kirkland, too, for providing an affordable golf club. All right, $600 or $200, you decide.